Joining me now in studio, Laura Trump, Fox News contributor. As a parent, Laura, two children, oh. I asked you, a boy and a girl, mm -hmm. this must be exceptionally horrifying. Uh, it is terrifying, honestly. And I hear from all of my friends who are parents, Halloween is a couple weeks away. My kids have been talking about trick-or-treating for like two months now. You know, they're all excited about it. And you want your kids to be able, be able to go out and have a great time and not worry. The fact that we live in America in a time where any parent has to worry about fentanyl and Halloween candy is absolutely unacceptable and it is outrageous. And the worst part is, of course, we don't have to be in this place if we actually enforced the laws on our southern border, if we actually did anything to curb the flow of fentanyl into our country. That stat that we just saw, there are 107,000 people last year that died of, of fentanyl. It is terrifying, and I know every parent out there now has to worry on Halloween night about their kid coming in contact with fentanyl, because of course you don't even have to ingest it, no, you just you have just to touch it. To touch it, to come in, even in close yeah. contact with it. Uh, I've said this over and over again, and I'll, I'll keep saying it until the people in Washington and the administration do something about it, but Joe Biden and company have intentionally laid the foundation for people to profit from human suffering and misery Yeah, in, in this very way. and. They need to start going to funerals if they're not going to do anything about the border of all the people who have died from fentanyl poisonings. What are they going to say to a parent whose child comes in contact with this? I mean, it's just yeah, appalling that they let this happen. It's a full-blown emergency. And the right. fact that we don't have alarms going off in some capacity in the White House, um, in, in Congress, uh, it is, it's mind-boggling. And I, I think you're right. Look, if one child dies on Halloween night because they, they came in contact with fentanyl, no matter how it happens, um, we've got a major problem on our hands. It, it, this should never be happening in America, and yet here we are. And again, it is, you're right, it's, it seems like it's intentional. The human suffering, whether it's via drugs, whether it's the human trafficking, the cartels are actually profiting off more off of human trafficking than they even are off of the drugs like fentanyl. It's outrageous. Right. Uh, well, it's it's parents who are, you saw it in Virginia, but even now driving, driving this election. What's taught in schools is second only to inflation and higher prices for uh, among parents, according to this new Fox News poll. And then uh, you got, they should hide this woman. The Democrats, they should hide her, but they're not. I'm talking about Teachers Union President Randy Weingarten and her organization. Uh, launching a cross-country get-out-the-vote bus tour to hold union rallies at dozens of cities before the midterm. She tweeted this, as extremist politicians try to dissemble and divide, AFT members are focused on what kids and communities need to recover and thrive. The tour will elevate the work they do every day to make a difference in the lives of kids, patients, and communities. You recover, recover from what you did to him, Randy Weingarten. Yeah, well, that's exactly right. The fact that this is where the, you know, they're spending their time is out on a bus tour to try and get people to vote for the very politicians that, you know, allowed our students to stay out of school, get so far behind. We saw in September the, the new studies come out to show just how far behind our students actually are. And some of them will never catch up, Dagan. And some of them forever are going to be in this this state. In, in America, you, you know, we're so far behind so many other countries around the world. And yet you have the, the teachers union, of course, out there campaigning. Great use of their time instead of actually focusing on the kids and getting them caught up in the learning. Hashtag what kids need. Oh, yeah. What kids need is no Randy Weingarten, the head of an organization that is like power hungry science deniers who hate kids because they wouldn't have kept the schools closed as long as they did and whispered into the ear of the CDC to make sure that that happened. I'm madder than you are. <laughs> this will make this will make you mad, though. Michael Steele, former RNC chair, had this to say about MAGA Republicans and other Trump aligned figures. McCarthy is now next in line with a base that is prepared um, to throw him out should they allow him to be speaker. I agree with Donna, still not 100 percent that that's going to happen. But Kevin has decided to make his bed and is prepared to lie down with the with the lice, the fleas and the blood sucking ticks. And whatever befalls him, 
is about is going to come from that that relationship. Wow. What Great. nice commentary. Uh, 74 million Americans voted for Donald Trump. Um, and apparently that's what Michael Steele, former head of the RNC, thinks about you. If you happen to believe in America, putting America first, bringing manufacturing back to our country, keeping our borders closed, making sure that people are back to work, that's what he thinks of you. Um, it, it's pretty ridiculous, but I think whenever they run out of things to talk about, mm -hmm. they go for the personal attacks day, which is exactly what this is. Uh, you see what outlet that was on, right, in the tens yeah. of people that actually watched that. Um, you know, they're, they're not talking about how to get our country back on track, which Kevin McCarthy and the Republicans actually have done. They laid out a plan to do that. So I feel sad for him that he feels like he needs to, you know, use the low blows like that. But Well, they have to, con they, they've got to come up with something that tops basket of deplorables, the Correct, Hillary Clinton yeah. moment. And she still lost. Uh, just a reminder, she lost. The, but they have to constantly come up with just some, I, I describe it as we're all rubes and rednecks and hayseeds yeah. and hicks and the basket of deplorables or the Bible and gun toting. Of course. You know, clinging to our guns and our Bibles. That was from President Obama. But it, do, it doesn't change the fact that their policies uh, create a giant suck hole in the country. That's Tom right. Phillipson, who worked in the Trump, in President Trump's White House, said that the Democrats under Biden incorporated, they've done everything. They came in and said, we're going to do everything the exact opposite That's right. of President Trump. So what do you get? You get the exact opposite. A a country and an economy in a downward spiral. In decline, and it's a disaster, and they know what's coming down the pipe on November 8th. They are terrified, and they're doing everything they can to try and distract people and just, you know, hit out with the low blows like that. Don't think it's going to work for them, unfortunately. Good to see you. Thank you. Love to your family. Oh, thank you very much.